Hey friends, it's Lisa A with an E here, and I'm back with another video. Today I have my bath body fragrance type of empties for March of 2017. So I just want to jump right in. I finished a Bath and Body Works shower gel in sheer cotton and lemonade. I got this at the SAS sale after Christmas. It was nice. Nothing much more to say about that. I finished a pack of the Neutrogena oil-free cleansing wipes in pink grapefruit that I got at Ulta in either late, April, late February or early March. I finished a Sephora brand fiber mask in the Lotus scent, which was for moisturizing and soothing. And then I also finished, which I threw out the packaging and I don't have, a Sephora mask in their pomegranate, which was for anti-fatigue and um, like maybe redness or something. I'm not sure. I finished a Tree Hut Shea Body Butter in Tropical Mango. Um, uh, so you can see. I really love this Tree Hut brand. I love using their body butters after I get out of the shower. It moisturizes very well and it's one of the best moisturizers I've ever come across. And they're not that expensive. Um, and maybe I should have included this in my wax and scented empties, but, um, apparently I finished a scented gel beads of the Up and Up brand Fresh Linen. I probably should have taken this out of my bathroom years ago, uh, probably more just like a couple months ago, but yeah. I didn't realize they would revert back to tiny beads, but they do. Um, this was a Bath and Body Works body cream in the scent Blue Sky and Orchard Leaves, I think it was called. Um, I like to cut these down so that I can get out more of the body cream as I get towards the bottom. And then it doesn't squeeze out anymore. So I'm sure there's a nicer way that I can do it instead of making it look all butchered like this. But that's what it was. I finished a white brain, ugh, not white brain, a white rain moisturizing shampoo in their active botan botanicals. I had actually bought this um, along with uh, the other product that I'll show you for my vacation bag. I took this to Toronto back in July and then I took it to Florida in September and then I realized like early March I ran out of shampoo and so I grabbed this off the shelf from my travel bag and I just ended up just finishing it up. And with that, I also finished the matching conditioner. I finished a Sephora brand coconut water cleansing wipes. They weren't really anything special, um, and they're actually very pricey for what they are compared to other brands. But I was in Sephora when I got this, obviously, and I was desperate. I needed cleaning wipes. So I got them, and I had them in my gym bag, and I would use them, like, after I worked out and stuff. But like I said, they're nothing special, and I would probably buy another more affordable brand in the future. I finished another body butter in, I apologize if I am butchering this, but a Hawaiian Kukui. This is my favorite scent of the Tree Hut brand. Um... I had actually that and the other body butter I had already had for like a year and I rediscovered them on my my shelf and I was surprised that I didn't use them up before so they were pretty much on their way being used up but yeah I officially used them up in March. Oops, oops, oops. Um, in hand soap world I finished a black cherry merlot Cleansing Foaming Hand Soap. I love the Cleansing Foaming Hand Soap. That's my preferred, I guess, method, variety of hand soap. Um, and I really enjoyed this. I picked this up during the winter SAS sale and just felt so nice. It smelled beautiful. Um, I would buy it again. Uh, 
Um, I finished up from Bare Minerals this Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Cream, and I was using the color 06 Ginger. Um, I have mixed feelings about this. This was like a really great color for my skin, but the formula when I would put it on would kind of like bead up as I was applying it and kind of get all weird and funky. And I'm not going to squeeze it out, but there's a little bit left. And even when I would squeeze it out, it's like got granules in it or like it's a little bit chunky. And I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be. And that's how it was the entire time I had this product. So I don't know if I just have a bad one or what, but I did like the color. It was a pretty good match. Oops. Um, I finished, well sort of finished. This Verb brand Leave-In Mist. Uh, it detangled, defrizzes, and conditions. And I did enjoy it while I had it. And then all of a sudden, it's kind of hard to see. I, I feel like it's hard to see on camera. There's probably like this much left. But it's like very chunky, very watery, and it doesn't smell good anymore. So I think it kind of went bad. So it is now done. I finished another uh, body cream from Bad and Bath uh, bleh, bleh, bleh. from Bath and Body Works. This was the Vanilla Bean Noel, and I got this at the winter semi annual sale. And this again, like the other one, I cut the tubes down once I can't get any more out, and I scrape it out because I always get like another week of body cream out of these. Um, this is a classic. I've gotten this many years prior like this scent not this tube um it's just like a nice annual scent I'll probably buy it again next year from my fall 2016 fortune cookie soap subscription box I I mostly finished up this sample of the shampoo I mean, I don't really have anything to say other than it smelled nice. I don't know how it made my hair feel. I kind of don't remember. Um, but yeah, I finished this one up. From that same subscription box, fall of 2016, which, if I remember, it was Princess, Bi Princess Bride theme. I also finished the whipped cream that they gave, which was mostly dead. And this was an awesome uh, pumpkin buttercream scent. I would have bought the full version if, you know, I really thought about it, but I didn't. And lastly, from the same subscription box, I finished up, ooh, slippery fingers. I finished up the OCD hand sanitizer that came in that box, Prepare to Die. I think this was also pumpkin scented. It was green with gold um, sparkles, but it was nice because the sparkles didn't, um, they were like evident once you rubbed your hands. So I finished that as well. So this <laughs> this mess is what I finished in March of 2017. Thank you again so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And I will see you in a future video. I hope you stay well. Bye.